What's up, YouTube? Welcome to a whole new video. Your boy is high. I just got a package that came in. So, today's objective is to drain the fluid, uh, remove the old conductor plate and the uh, valve body because guess what? We got the conductor plate, we got the seal, and we got the filter. And the only thing we're waiting for is the springs uh, for the valve body. Uh, I thought about getting solenoids. Um, for quicker shifts and all that, but I might save that for later. I just want to get this car back on the road, driving, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, this solve our issue, it should. Uh, we recently um, had a computer hooked up to that thing and we was having solenoid issues and more likely it was the conductor plate. So we're going to change that, see how that go. But we can't do that right now because like I said, we wait for the springs and all that come in. We got to buy fluid. So... <clears throat> I got to buy fluid and that would be it, honestly. So y'all stay tuned for this video. Subscribe if you're new, Sus share, like, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Walk in the Auto 3 garage and let's get to this bad boy in a bit. And I got to have some business to handle. So guys, as y'all can see, we have the conductor plate right here. Our new RPM sensor right here. The placement for the solenoids right here. And uh, where our a connector from the TCM uh, go in right here. Oh, I don't want to break that off. But I broke that off. And I think it's like a little float thing. I'm not sure. We got our connector right here. We got a filter right here. We got a gasket right here. Uh, we're not going to put this on yet, I don't think. Uh, we're going to see when we get in the video. Um, we still got to wait for the springs for the valve body because I'm thinking about taking the valve body apart, uh, replacing the uh, springs. And uh, I think the sleeves, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, whenever it comes in, I get to it, then y'all will know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, let's get under this car. Okay, guys, first thing first, we need to drain the fluid out and we need to remove uh, this plug in right here. Use a seven, uh, seven millimeter socket, uh, remove this connector, uh, drop this pan, and uh, let's see what's under there. So guys, we came across a issue. This is stripped. This bolt is really seized in here. So my only option temporarily for right now is to remove these bad boys here, which is all around the drain pan. So hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. So guys, fun fact for this uh, transmission, this was supposed to be been a lifetime transmission to where you never had to change uh the fluid or worry about any of the things of that nature after doing so much research after looking at legit street cars which is one of my favorite channels and looking at other great channels learning about this transmission and stuff it's pretty damn fascinating uh to be honest but i can't wait till i get this all clean up. it's gonna be looking 10 times better under here everything gonna get back to o e n um that boat i need to see how in the hell i'm gonna get that out or i might just you know wing it i don't know we'll see but i got a trash bag right here because i know fluid gonna dump out as you can see it's kind of dripping out right now i'm gonna get a bucket to collect it so i might try to loosen it on one side to try to get most of it out but we'll see how it go So guys, we are at the bottom of this transmission right here. Uh, we did have two obstacles that we had to come across. First off with the oil drain plug, not able to drip all the fluid down. And two, this one bolt back here, which was a star bit. We got six all around. And yeah, it had failed me. Uh, completely the bolt was completely stripped so i had to use my angle grinder cut the head off of it and it came down real easy remove the stud with my hand luckily i had to use the stud extractor or nothing like that but good thing we are under here 
uh I cleaned the oil pan up I cleaned the um the I guess the star bolts and the clips that holds the pan and I guess the transmission together and sandwiches together I got all that cleaned up on the table and stuff you will see in a bit so right now we're gonna remove this filter uh, which is going to come out. You know where I got a trash bag underneath collecting. But we got the old filter right here. We'll leave that right there. And what's next? We just need to remove this bad boy here, to be honest. Um, I believe uh, these bolts right here shouldn't be too hard. And yeah, let's get to it. So guys, when removing these bolts, you might want to go like in a zigzag pattern don't just take one side off and then other um so we're gonna see how that go um they pretty tight on here i'm not gonna lie i know i got this baby behind a wrench not to have good grip let me, let me see if y'all can see that i might not be able to see that yeah i probably will oh yeah That was just one example right there. And guys, here we go. We got her drop. Look inside here. It's pretty dang clean. If you ask me. So, thing was like, I don't know how many screws. All the screws right there. It wasn't hard to drop out. Pretty easy. So, we're going to get her inside. Guys, look how clean she is. So guys, after observing uh, this conductor plate right here, look at this piece right here, it's cracked. So that's the first issue I can see, that little cracked uh, speed sensor right there. Uh, anything else, I'm not sure right now, but I wanna take this apart and um, just go from there, man. It's gonna be you know, pretty damn exciting and fun to be honest. I like taking stuff apart. So guys, y'all can see the complete difference. We don't have a crack in our speed sensor. Um, this look, you know, pretty damn good right here. Yeah. So first thing first, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, probably remove this tray. It should lift up, I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, should lift up like that. Place it on the side like that. Uh, I might need to get, I don't know. And lift this tray up. Have that on the side. I'm going to put this new baby up on the way. Have this on the side like that. So guys, first thing first, we're going to remove these T30 bolts right here. That's holding these solenoids in place. Uh, I will use, I would use a drill uh, off the get-go, but I'm not because I don't want to having to strip anything. Um, probably after I get it like loose, then I use the drill. So let's get these loose. So guys, we got the old conductor plate off. And now what I wanna do, I'm gonna take all of these screws out and um, separate this uh, plate right here. So guys, we remove our bolts, which we have right here. 
Let's continue. So guys, we are coming to a complete stop because um, first of all, I want to wait till the springs and all that uh, come in. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we're going to stop here and have everything like this. Uh, recently, I had flipped this and these check balls had came out. It kind of scared me for a bit. But then I end up, you know, doing my research. Um, I really found this great website where they have wide diagrams. And then the same as that location where the balls go at. I believe the metal ones go in these little holes uh, in these little different areas right here. And then we had the plastic ones. Uh, which is the black ones uh, go in these little uh, areas too. But it's not complicated or anything like that. Uh, pretty dang easy. I'm probably going to end up cleaning everything up. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. So uh, we're going to have to wait for them spring to come in uh, before we throw everything back together. And I'm going to have to get fluid and all that too. So I'm going to see what's best. So see y'all later.